What's up, Wayne Barron here with DrFX.net. I'm to bring you another Windows 7 instructional video thing. And this one right here, uh, I've got a dual boot with uh, Windows XP uh, uh, Pro Media Center sitting on one drive, and I've got uh, Windows 7 sitting on another. And what I want to do is that I want to be able to access my Windows XP drive. Well, inside of Windows 7, by default, it removes the window, uh, your other OS drive. And so during your, du your dual boot, you have access to either one of them. But inside of Windows 7, you do not have access by default to the drive that the other operating system is on. But there is a way around that. And so um, how we do that is that we want to go into our um, control panel. And once we get inside a control panel, we want to go into administrative tools, wherever they may be. Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Let me jump over here. Control panel. Up we go, administrative tools. And once we get into administrative tools, we're going to choose computer management. Uh, double click it this time. It will eventually load one day, I reckon. I'm going to pause it and let it load, and I'll be right back. Okay, we'll back up now. <clears throat> Definitely need a faster computer, because this laptop just is not cutting it anymore, especially running Windows 7 on it. It really bogs it down just that much more trying to record the screen. So anyway, once we get inside of computer management, we want to go over to disk management, and then we will wait for it to load. And so, while we wait for it to load, hope that you're enjoying your weekend. And I hope that y'all are having a good weekend. And I hope that your weekend is doing well. And I hope that, well, you have a good weekend. And we're still waiting. And we're waiting. And we're still waiting. We are still waiting, people. Oh my goodness. We are still waiting. It is 4.03 p.m. Ah, there we go. We have our drives. Okay, this right here is our Windows XP drive. This is our Windows 7 drive. And so as you can see, there is no drive letter. It's healthy, system, active, primary, partition. But it does not have a drive letter. So... What we do is that we give it a drive letter. So you right click on it and you choose change drive letter and path. And then you go over here, you choose add. And then just give it a drive letter. We're going to give it, I reckon, uh, let's give it to B. We're going to give it B. Okay, and then we will have B here in a minute right there there's our B so now we should be able to go inside of uh, yep there we go open and view folders and as our window opens there we go that is our boot drive for our Windows XP so that's all you have to do people go inside of control panel panel administrative tools computer management, disk management, and then find the drive or partition that the dual boot is residing on, right click on it, change its drive letter, give it a drive letter, and then you will, uh, then you will be able to access it. So, hope that y'all had a good one, and hope that y'all enjoyed this quick Windows 7 demonstration thingamajig. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Well, I reckon we're going to go bye-bye.
tell you what, let's close out of this, and then we will hit the F10.